and Seth here from macOS10screencast.com. This is the second part of our Scrivener tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be focusing on keeping a bibliography with your uh, Scrivener or well, Scrivener project, and focusing on the multi-markdown syntax. We are already here in Scrivener, and for this uh, tutorial, we will use a foreign or a second application which is called Bibdesk. We will be using TextMate. Um, skim to preview our PDF file and we will be using Safari as well. Um, first of all, let's see um, how well how my bibliography looks like. So in here on my folder I have my proposal. In the proposal folder I will be keeping a bib file in the bib folder and in this bibliography.bib file many bibs today I have all I'm keeping all my bibliography. When we open this bibliography file in TextMate in plain text, you see a lot of lot of lot of parentheses, curly ones, and this would be just too awkward to write by ourselves. So let's go to Safari. Here we uh, go to the uh, location bar, and I'm copying this clip now to the clipboard or the link. Sorry, I'm creating a new entry here. Uh, by hitting the plus symbol. You can either select a uh, URL or web page, uh, but the side key has to be unique. So please keep in mind you has, it has to be a very, well, a unique key. Today is the 31st of, Mar month of March, sorry. Uh, it's year 2010, a month uh, is three. Keywords, I will be using Ableton and Live. And when I hit save, you will see on the left hand side that we have now keywords assigned to our uh, item. And when I move downwards, you see actually every item which has the same tags assigned will be, will be highlighted on the left hand side. And again, you can go into the uh, keywords as well, of course. So how do we reference now this Ableton Live um, bibliography item. First of all, I'd like to show you how the multi markdown syntax looks like. First, you put uh, square brackets and then followed by square brackets, but in front with the hash key, your side key. So again, the first square brackets show the name, which will be shown in the text, followed by square brackets with a hash in front, uh, and followed by a side key. And the side key must be the same as you were using in your bibliography file. So first we will be putting here uh, Ableton Live in the curly braces or brackets and the second brackets will be the uh, the hash key in front. So then again we need to well export our document uh, to LaTeX but first we need to tell our tech file where our bib file is. So in order to do that we hit the plus key here Enter bibtech, please keep an eye on uppercase and downcase writing. And then go on the left uh, text field and there you need to put your relative folder of that bibliography file. So we have our text file here and in the folder bib is our bibliography.bib file. So I'm copying this uh, name now to the clipboard. Then I go back to Scrivener and insert it here, but before I'm writing bib slash and then our bibliography.bib file. I execute with uh, OK or save with OK. Then I compile the draft. Here I'm not changing anything. Again, it's multi marked onto LaTeX. I select the name here and I actually want to use the old um, file again. I want to pre place it, of course. Then it's doing its thing. And now when we open that file in TextMate, you will see what has been changed here. Oh, I forgot something. It is somewhere at the top where um, Multimarkdown has changed our uh, bibliography. This is uh, this line here. Here we're uh, redefining our bibliography, well, bibliography.bib file to slash biblio command. And way at the end is our um, biblio command again, which tells LaTeX where our bibliography is. And to actually cite or well to reference our uh, file, you see backslash cite, square, square brackets, and then the curly brackets with Ableton underscore live, which is our site key, our unique site key. Now let's move on and 
set our PDF preview program to use uh, Skim instead of uh, Preview. Click OK to um, well set this setting, <laughs> then typeset our file. And our changes will now not be shown in the final document because in order to do that, you see all these question marks here. In order to uh, get these references right, we need to rerun our uh, LaTeX. First, we need to run uh, BibTeX again, and then you see now at the top, at the bottom here, is our bibliography command, our, our bibliography file. Then again, I'm hitting uh, rerun PDF LaTeX here, and then again, running LaTeX will actually get all the references right. Now we have one, two, three, and five in the text, and where all our well, citations will be in the correct place um, as supposed. Now let me close down some of these windows we will we are seeing right now. Uh, we will be doing something new now, like creating a new bibliography uh, entry from the Google Scholar website. Here I'd like to search for again. Um, you have a dedicated Firefox add-on, which does this job very well, um, to get the bibtech command right for Amazon entries. For Google Scholar and Safari users, just go to the Google Scholar website and go to your Scholar preferences here. And way at the bottom, you see the bibliography manager should show the links to import citations into bibtech. Save the preferences. And now you see at the bottom of each link, import into bibtech. Now all you need to do is select this text, copy it to the clipboard, switch back to um, the bibdesk um, application, and here you just paste that item. Now you see we have a new item created, which is Collins 2004 Live, which says as title, Live Coding in Laptop Performances, or um, Laptop Performance, of course. Um, now we want to create something which makes this easy, which makes it easier for us to create these citations right from within uh, BibDesk. Let me just move that window out of the way. In your library, um, you will find under Application Support the BibTech, BibDesk, sorry, and there you fi will find a folder called um, Templates. In the folder, you can put templates which are used by BibDesk in order to create those citations. I've already, well, created some uh, one of these uh, uh, template files, which says smaller and dollars and publications. And on the second line, you see actually our square brackets followed by square brackets and the hash key, uh, hash symbol in the front, followed by, again, the less, uh, less than uh, dollar sign and site key. You can go to the BibDesk website where you will find a lots of information about those templates. They will tell you exactly what you can do with those site keys. Um, you can do really 